All right. That's so cool. So Douglas, what is, can you tell me what it is again? This is a rain stick. And a rain stick is a really ancient implement that was uh, developed between the Peruvians and um, Af the people of, from Africa that went there as slaves. And traditionally they're made from uh, dried eucalyptus and or bamboo. And uh, this one is one that I've made out of um, a really dense cardboard tube. It's about five eighths of an inch thick and it has corn on there inside. And this is a piece dedicated to Trayvon Martin, as you can see. And since he was killed during the time that it was raining, a rain stick is very apropos. I'm actually doing a collaboration with another uh, artist who is both a visual artist and a, a spoken word writer in Chicago. His name is Avery Young. And the piece is gonna be on exhibition in Chicago at the University of Chicago's incubator and there'll be some dialogue concerning Trayvon Martin um, and there are a number of other um, black uh, young men that are on here that met a similar fate um, you know there's Emmett Till, Amadou Diallo uh, this is um, Grant, I can't think of his name, the first name Grant, but he was killed in um, in California in the BART station. Um, then there is um, this older gentleman, Kenneth Chamberlain Sr., who um, was killed in his house by police after they got there and he told them he didn't need any. His alarm went off and um, f because he has a heart condition and he told them when they before they got there he told the dispatcher that he no longer needed them because the the device goes off automatically and and they insisted on coming in and he told them no and they broke the, his door down tased him to death this is uh george stinney um the youngest person in the united states to ever be um put to death and he was framed um, so and that's Trayvon and uh, this is Sean Bell who um, was killed in New York on the day of his his wedding the police killed him uh, for no really good reason uh, this guy's name is Oscar Oscar Grant, that's his name, Oscar Grant. He was killed in California in the BART system. So it's just the piece is talking about, um, you know, the fate of young men, young black men that are often um, profiled and, and murdered summarily. So, and the, the Arizona iced tea cans, interestingly enough, you know, he went to, um, Trayvon went to purchase um, iced tea and Skittles, and therefore that's why the stick is covered with, with both iced tea cans and Skittles. But also looking at the cans, there's some interesting symbology and some interesting um, dialogue that we can have about the symbology on the cans for example this is a very attractive can but it and um, I wanted to put the Japanese on there because of the internment of the Japanese and how this looks very um, beautiful but in a way it's it has uh, overtone of servitude because this woman the way that she's holding the cup tells you that she's serving tea not drinking in it herself and then Native American symbols are used all over uh, these cans. And um, here's a caricature of a Native American in, in 
um, their superlative headdress and he's he's not looking very confident or much like a, a native m man that would be wearing a headdress like that. So the caricature or the characterization of uh, Native Americans uh, is negative yet their symbols are being used. I think this might be um, uh, I'm not sure if this is a symbol of a Thunderbird, but I, but, or it could be a Navajo symbol. I've seen them on some rugs, and then you know the, the watermelon, which in a way you know I placed it here because of how it's usually uh, connected and as a negative thing to black people, but it's also a very positive thing in the sense that it's full of vitamin A and vitamin C and potassium and it's great food so there's a lot of dichotomy in the symbology on this rain stick. Wow Douglas thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for bringing the stuff to me. You are